Hey, what's up fellow dudes? Welcome back to another review on the rug. This time I got Tally with me and she's from the video game Mass Effect series and I'm really looking forward to this one. I just recently got her and I'm always really excited. And she comes in this nice looking box here. I think the background here on the front is from the third Mass Effect game. Looks like it. And she got her pistol here on this image. I think it's an image from the statue. It looks like that. And on the side here, got another side shot from the statue. On the back, um, we got a little bit of backstory. And the product number is... Uh, 885 from 1000 pieces I think. This is the, the regular version by the way and here on the side we got some detail shots and not much going on on the top there's just tally written on it don't need to show you that and now without further ado let's get to this thing and crack it open. So here's Tally out of the packaging and at first glance I can say she looks really good. She comes with the arc pistol, this one here, and just goes in here with a normal pin. Maybe a little magnet, I can't tell. And yeah, she holds the arc pistol and the exclusive version comes with the scorpion pistol actually. But uh, I'm pleased with the normal version. Like it's just a different weapon but the same pose. And the statue itself was really easy to assemble, it was just three pieces, like the hand with the pistol, the body itself and the uh, base. So not any difficult here. And at first glance I, she looks really good, all the details, good paint job of all, what, from what I can tell. So let's check out for the little details. So let's start at the base and make our way up and first thing I noticed are those big scratches here and there on the side of the base and I think they might have done that to match the base a little bit more with her boots which got also a lot of scratches and marks on them as you can see. So nice little touch and on the top here we got this basic uh, tally suit pattern going on in this pink uh, or more purple color with the swirls like the same here on her suit and the statue itself actually stands is or is attached to the base with this foot here it's just a pin going in there it stands relatively stable on the base also I feel the weight might be a little bit more on this feet foot here but it doesn't fall uh, over something when I give it a little bump here it doesn't no it's stable enough so nice little base here nothing special but really decent paint job and work and yeah before I forget it uh, this statue cam comes with a little card here which basically says if you give them this code on this card um, you can get the next statue of the series uh, with the same number so you get this piece if this piece would be number 8 out of uh, 1000, you can get your next statue with the same number. So also number 8, for example. I think this, they did the same thing uh, for the Garrus statue, or maybe for all of the Gaming Head statues. I think this is only my second Gaming Head statue, because the first one was the Garrus statue review, which you can also find on this channel. So this is my second Mass Effect statue from Gaming Heads. And they did a really good job as far as I can tell. So let's take a closer look at the other parts of the suit. So we got this nice suit pattern going on here at her knees. And those boots actually have some, yeah, just call them knee pads. And they're just an extension of her boots. They also look really good. And here the different materials of the suit uh, come together. You get those, I think, under suit material and then this upper layer of the suit. And then those swirls on top of it. And also, also here's some nice uh, wrinkles 
like you got the impression that she really wears an actual suit which is really cool and then some booty and some nice uh, straps here down this yellow stripe going all the way up here and actually because I see that right now and that red spot there I'm not sure if it's the same like in the game because I was really confused I just thought uh, somebody uh, slipped with the brush because yeah it just seems really random there but it's actually the same on the picture on the box so I guess that's intended here I just can't remember if it's the same uh, in the game that she has this red spot here or this red color on the side of her chest on the other side there's nothing as you can see so really interesting and here you got some other stripes and buckles her belt buckle right here and also I like what they did with the uh, straps here like they didn't paint it's just one color it's actually some more some brown in there like I guess it's the same in the game as far as I can remember so it's really accurate and also she has some nice they got some nice uh, paint job to her fingers where's her third finger oh there's her thumb oh yeah it's it's here if you can call that thumb I don't know Aquarians only have three fingers and here's some nice pouches awesome really nice paint job like um, you have those that leather impression from them it's really good and some more buckles on her back and also those um, spaces here they or those yeah those suit different types of suit materials are really nice the way they did them they look really great and here I think it might be some ammo I'm not sure maybe it's just some other stuff see she is uh, in the first place she's an engineer and a really good technician so that might be <laughs> that might be no ammo I have actually no idea what that is and also a really nice paint job on those uh, necklaces here I just call them necklaces and on this piece here it's um, like a brown stone to it nice metallic golden brown stone and her hood for another with a lot of swirls on it I just get the impression that on some uh, places here the swirls might be a little sloppy like here it's not really bit that big but they don't the lines don't uh, match up in all places they don't join together but it's not not really that severe it's just in some spots I noticed that and here her visor actually I would uh, I would have wished they made it more transparent only that you can get a glimpse of her eyes and her nose like it's in the game then it would be perfect so it's just solid but still it looks really good and the pistol here which is the arc pistol I think and also really good paint job on the pistol and the only thing when it comes to the pistol here is they should have added maybe some light I can't remember from the game but, but I think it's some kind of uh, blue light blue the pistol has some elements that uh, elements that glow in light blue and they just could have, have add some light blue color to it to give the impression of those LEDs also here you got those ammo clips again I just call them ammo clips because I don't know what they are and wow I just really like the paint job on this thing here like it really um, gives you the impression that the suit consists uh, of different materials like those shul those pads here and this leather uh, thing here and that here like a flexible zone for her arm just really great stuff here did a good job on the paint job I have to admit and just the only f two things like add some light to the pistols 
and make the visor more transparent a little bit more but for the other stuff I can say this is a really nice statue also the pose is really basic I would say or a classic pose but for Telly it's yeah it does a good job and the statue itself it's just really beautiful I recommend it for every Mass Effect or Telly fan out there and I think this is the third Mass Effect statue from Gaming Heads and the fourth is uh, more than Solos and so far there were uh, before this piece here this is the third one and the other two are Garrus and this was the first which I have also reviewed and the second one was Liera which I sadly didn't get so far but I really hope for a uh, Jack statue in the future. The only problem with that might be that it's not um, a main squad or a really yeah impo a character that got so much attention in the series like the other characters like Garrus or Liara or Telegir. So I'm not sure if they um, will do a Jack statue at some point. But this here, this piece here looks really good. Really glad I got that. So thanks for watching guys, hope you liked it and maybe we'll see each other in the next video. Until then, have a good one!